Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, in this video we are going to talk about the types of fluids basically. But before going to our today's topic, I just uh, recommend you to watch my previous video that is of the Newton's law of viscosity or uh, we can call it as a velocity gradient. So after watching that video, you'll get a better understanding and uh, you'll get a uh, help while understanding this today's topic that is of types of fluids. So guys, welcome back to the my YouTube channel, myself Narendra and in our YouTube channel, Engineers Academy, I do post videos regularly and which belongs to the like engineering fields, which belongs to the fluid mechanics, automobile engineering, material science on the different topics which I like to make videos, I just I just post a video on those topics basically. So guys, you can motivate me by clicking the subscribe button and also press the bell icon beside you. So ultimately, I'll get motivated and ultimately you'll get updates, regular updates of my videos. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is of types of fluids. There are various types of fluids. The first one is the ideal fluid. Basically, as the name itself says that this is the ideal fluid. This is the imaginary fluid. There is no like the this particular type of the fluid which exists in real world. So that's why it is ideal fluid. Now, what is the important parameter in ideal fluid? This particular ideal fluid says that the fluid which does not have any viscosity, which does not have any compressibility, which does not have any surface tension. So when all these three parameters get satisfied, this particular fluid is termed as an ideal fluid. So you have to understand that there is no ideal fluid. Ideal fluid is total imaginary fluid. Okay, But in some cases, in some parameters, while calculations, while doing the calculations of the fluid mechanics, the water is considered as an ideal fluid, but in some cases only. The moving ahead, next type is the real fluid. So real fluids are the, these are the types of the fluids which have a certain viscosity, which have a certain surface tension, which have a certain compressibility. So that's why this particular fluid is termed as a real fluid. All the fluid which exist in the world will have always have some amount of viscosity. So that's why this particular uh, fluid is known as the real fluid. Every fluid will have some amount of viscosity, some amount of surface tension and some amount of incompressibility. So all these three conditions get satisfied and the fluid type is termed as a real fluid. The next fluid type is nothing but the Newtonian fluid. So Newtonian fluid, as the name itself says that this particular fluid has some relation with the Newton. That's not direct relation with the Newton, but it does obeys the Newton's law of viscosity. I think you have watched my previous video that is of the velocity gradient, which is nothing but the Newton's law of viscosity. So Newton's law of viscosity states that while applying a certain amount of the pressure, okay, the pressure is directly proportional to the change in rate of the flow of the fluid. That is nothing but the velocity gradient. So that is nothing but the, the fluid which obeys Newton's law of viscosity is termed as a Newtonian fluid. It means the fluid after the application of a certain pressure, it the it, may, it means the after the application of the shear stress, you know, the shear strain also changes. Also, we can term uh, also we can say that the rate of shear stress is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain or we can call it as a velocity gradient. So that's why our equation becomes that is shear stress is equals to mu into dv by dy. So that is nothing but the this is the particular equation that is nothing but the uh, oh, that is for the Newtonian fluids basically. So over here every fluid such as the water, honey or else alcohol. So these are the types of Newtonian fluids. And this particular Newtonian fluids can be of the real fluids also. Okay. So after Newtonian fluids, the other type comes that is non-Newtonian fluids. The non-Newtonian fluids are such type of fluid which does not obey the Newton's law of viscosity. It means when you apply a certain pressure, okay, 
the velocity gradient will changes it means the viscosity will change the viscosity won't be constant over here as we have seen in our previous equation that is of the uh, shear stress is equals to mu into dv by dy that is the shear stress shear strain and the viscosity so over here the viscosity changes in case of non newtonian fluids so over here in case of non newtonian fluids the fluid which does not obey the newton law of viscosity is termed as a non newtonian fluid so let's take some of the examples so if we squeeze a toothpaste you know the toothpaste comes out from your that particular tube if we are applying a certain pressure this particular like the toothpaste is having a certain amount of viscosity at that present it is not at a flowing stage but when we apply a certain pressure on your uh, on the toothpaste you know the pest after applying the pressure it comes out as the and the velocity of the and the flow it flows out it means that the uh, uh, viscosity is decreases so that's why it is flowing after the application of the pressure the viscosity decreases so that's why this becomes the uh, example of a non newtonian fluid the another example is the your sauce after application of certain pressure you will get a the the sauce will like uh, uh, the sauce will flow from your uh, the bottle the another example is mud after application of the certain pressure the mud will flow while the, uh, while carrying out the drilling as well uh, drilling and uh, that is nothing but uh, while carried out the drilling in the on the in the drilling rigs basically now this non newtonian fluids are also having a two types basically the first one is the dilating and the second one is the pseudo plastic fluid in case of dilating the viscosity of the particular fluid increases as the in, uh, as the application of the pressure increases as the shear stress increases as the shear strain increases over here the viscosity increases in case of dilating whereas in case of pseudo plastic material the viscosity decreases as the application of the pressure as the application of the shear stress or the shear strain basically so in the first case that is in the case of dilatant dilatant these are the fluids in which you know in which the viscosity increases so let's take out some examples if we like uh, add cornstarch and uh, if we add cornstarch into water that is nothing but the mixture of cornstarch and the water so this will act as a like the uh, dilatant fluid the viscosity of the total like the solution increases so it means that like this particular uh, dilatant this is the terminology which is best suited for the solutions of me or the mixture of two or more fluids basically such as the in the second example we can uh, take like it is a sand soaked into the water a sand soaked into water will have high amount of viscosity it won't flow very easily so that's why this particular terminology is known as the dilatant or we can also call as a shear thickening fluid or we can call it also called as a shear thickening fluid or dilatant the next one is the pseudo plastic fluid that is nothing but the shear thinning fluid these are these are the pseudo plastic fluid so in case of this particular type of fluid the viscosity of a particular fluid gets decreases over the application of the pressure over the application of the shear force over the application of the velocity gradient so these are the three main factors like shear force velocity gradient and your ultimately the pressure so by the application of this three factors you are like the, the viscosity will get decreases you know the viscosity will decrease it means the fluid will flow very much easily as there is like the viscosity decreases the best examples for the pseudo plastic fluids are the your ketchups toothpaste your uh, nail paints polymeric resins so these are the some of the example of the pseudo plastic fluids so moving ahead next is nothing but the plastic fluid so this type of fluid is like uh, is like you know plastic it shows the pl property of plasticity in the natural state while application of the certain pressure the fluid started flow so this after application of the certain pressure certain force 
the fluid shows uh, the fluid the uh, shows the properties of newtonian fluid shear stress the shear stress is directly proportional to shear strain so this particular type of fluid is known as the plastic fluid so now let's take an example of plastic fluid while drilling while carry out a deep water drilling or else uh, in the drilling rigs basically the mud the mud which is came out from the drilling so that these are the it is nothing but the mixture of you know the sand or the ab abrasive particles or, or the, and the water so this particular fluid after application of the certain pressure after application of the certain force this particular fluid flows actually but in the natural state it is very difficult to flow for that particular uh, fluid so this particular fluid is termed as a plastic fluid basically so moving ahead next is nothing but the ideal plastic fluid so now the word ideal came here so that's why this particular ideal plastic fluid is very this is the state which is very difficult to obtain in physical uh, in the real world so in ideal plastic fluid the shear stress is more than that of the yield value of the stress yield value of the stress and after that yield value the fluid shows the linear characteristics as i have shown over here in the graph this fluid shows the linear characters uh, linear graph that that of uh, which is same as that of the newtonian fluids so these are nothing but the ideal plastic fluid so guys in this video we have seen the, the various types of the fluids the first one is the ideal fluid real fluid newtonian fluid non newtonian fluid in non newtonian fluid we have seen the pseudo plastic fluid we have seen the dilatant also we have seen the plastic fluid and real plastic fluid so guys i hope you understood all this type of the fluids which are exist there and which is very much important to learn so i hope you understand so guys i hope you understood the today's topic that is of the types of fluids so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my educational channel engineer sakai